This is Jimmy. Today it appears that Jimmy has gotten himself stuck in an earthquake. Oh, Jimmy. While this may seem like a perfectly reasonable response, it appears that Jimmy has just made his first fatal mistake. Wait, what? In case of an earthquake, stay away from all shelves and dressers. Besides the risk that the shelves themselves will fall down on you, it's also likely that whatever on them will fly right off the shelf and crush you to death. So what is a reasonable response during an earthquake for a young lad like Jimmy? I know what to do. I'll go stand in the doorway. And you know what, Jimmy? That is a great response. If you want to die. Wait, what? A common, though unfortunate, misperception. During an earthquake, a doorway is actually one of the worst places to stand. Structurally, it's actually one of the weakest parts of the building, and you're likely to be hurt by the wildly swinging door. Ow. During an earthquake, you should take shelter under a desk or a table. Just, uh, make sure it's big enough for you. Uh, a little help, please? But what should you do if an earthquake strikes while you're in bed? There's five more minutes this way. Pretty obviously not that, but luckily, our school has been taking preventative measures to make sure this never becomes a problem. They assign so much homework you'll never get to sleep, so you'll never be in bed when an earthquake hits. But theoretically, if it were to happen, what would you do? To remember what to do, I find it helpful to use the following rhyme. Stay where you are. Don't leave your bed. Use a pillow to protect your head. A rust of debris will make you bleed red. And then you'll have to go to the med. You could even wind up dead. And then you'll never, ever be wed. Word. Should we give Jimmy one last chance? This is a crowd participation section. You're supposed to say yes. Let's try it again. Should we give Jimmy one last chance? Oh, all right, Internet, you've convinced me. Oh, oh, look at you, Jimmy, pulling aside a chair and going under a table. Well, you want to know something. That is entirely and utterly correct. Good job. Wait. Really? I, I, I did it right? No, like, a flying doors or a flying Disney movies? You talk too much, Jimmy. Tip number seven. Never question the omnipotent narrator. Well, wasn't that great? We had a fun time, and I think we really learned something, too. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Jimmy? Jimmy, say something. You're embarrassing me. Jimmy, let them know we're all right. I guess Jimmy here isn't in a talkative mood, but I'm sure that if he was, he would say that everything would grrr. Eight! <laughs> Jimmy. Well, I'm sure that if Jimmy could talk, he would say that he wants you to subscribe. Yes, that means you. Wait. Jimmy? Jimmy! Jimmy, oh my god! Did you get a new haircut? It's nice.